Oh, hey, good morning. You don't know who I am, but today we have been invited to the Washington State Toy Show. So, uh, it's a bit early. I think the sun is about ready to come up. Yeah, yeah, the sun is coming up. And this should be a great opportunity, you know? I think there's gonna be some video game stuff there, maybe some comic stuff we're looking for. Well, I don't know. This is just gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a great day. Can't wait to see what we can find. Washington State Toy Show, here we go. A little behind the scenes bit uh, before the show gets all started. Here is a start of seeing a lot of the new G.I. Joe figures. These are all great. I love each and every one of them. And then we're right into Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars has probably had the most figures here um, in terms of toys. And then, as you'll see in a little bit, uh, there is a lot of Transformers as well. Hey, here are our first uh, video game sightings of the day. You know, not too bad, um, but uh, not too retro. Wherever there is a show, wherever there is a convention, wherever there is a fair, you will find Funko Pops. So many Funko Pops. Remember, wherever you go, there you are. Oh, here we go. Plenty of Autobots and Decepticons. Mm, take your pick. Lots, lots to choose from. Oh boy, pick up alert, pick up alert. Oh, I love Transformers, and I love Jazz. He was one of my favorites. Look at that. That's nice. Okay, well, you know you want to say it. Say your favorite line from Ghostbusters. I don't know what it's called, but that is a really cool Bowser castle. I like it. If only I had the room, and it was a good price there, but had to leave it behind.
Yeah, yeah. Go, go, Godzilla. And now for something completely different. Cannons. Nice little miniature scaled cannons. Wow, who knew? Uh, it's always good to see Thundercats related stuff. Golly, man, don't you just love the Thundercats? Star Wars figures alert. I didn't record too many of them that were out there, but uh, here's a good bunch. These console sets that this vendor was selling were pretty much sold out by the end of the day. Uh, they were reasonably priced, but they moved pretty fast. Legos were also to be seen and found throughout. Uh, no one booth dedicated to, but uh, there were plenty to be seen. Uh, this here is a custom made Optimus Prime. Uh, you can find a link in the uh, show notes uh, to see just where you can buy it. Yeah, now for some creepy Halloween masks. Oh yeah, oh, creepy. Oh, now this is great. I used to have one of these ships when I was a kid and I would fly this thing around the house constantly, just for hours. Uh, it was, you put your batteries in it and it made these great sounds of, of ascending and descending, depending on how you pitch the, uh, the ship. Oh my God, it was so much fun, so much fun, but probably pretty annoying to everybody else. Oh, I really want to yell a name right now. Yell it really loud. This really cool detailed Smurf house was gone by the second time I came around. Um, I can see why. I mean, it's really neat. Hmm, interesting. More pops. I had to walk away after I looked at these and not come back because I would have bought each and every one of them. I mean, I don't need these action figures. Really, I don't, but I want every one of them. Look at all that. That is glorious.
I'm not into any of the uh, die cast or, you know, even model car collecting, but there were some really neat ones here. Uh, some really cool mashups that you'll see. Uh, I was, you know, they were really cool. Uh, made me definitely uh, take a look at them and enjoy them. <laughs> oh my gosh, look, the Fall Guy truck. That is great. The Fall Guy was a great show. Too bad you will die. Yeah, after editing this all together, I realized that there was quite a bit of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff out there too. And that is nothing of a complaint. That is great to see because we all love the turtles. Someday, someday I need to add the Castlevania figures to my collection. I just, I, yes, yes, I need them. Uh oh, pick up alert, pick up alert. Only one scale train vendor there, only one. Hey, look who stopped by. Why is Bumblebee? That's cool. Glad he came to see the show as well.
Here's the one G.I. Joe piece that I still really need for my collection, and I need to get it soon before it goes up in price too far. Now, I'm not even gonna try and talk like the Micro Machine Man, but the one thing that I can say is, from Galoob. Wow, that's a beautiful box and quite a price. Oh, but look, the USS flag. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Oh, wait, I didn't, but I should. Oh my gosh, I forgot all about this. I used to have this book. Hmm, why, why did I set it back down? I should've just bought it to have it again. Well, these were the only PSP games that I saw, and I ended up leaving them all behind because the price that he was asking for was a little too rich for me at the time. Uh, just, just a little too much. Yeah, there were a couple comic vendors there. They're always fun to thumb through and find a few things to bring home. Wow, these were really neat to see and uh, fun to view. Um, the detail and the painting on them, the decals, all very impressive. Yeah, if uh, boxed or carded stuff is not for you, there were plenty of loose figures all around as well. And oh, it is fun to see the loose figures to actually get to pick them up and hold them and to mess around with them a little bit. Yeah, this was just a killer table. Yeah, when it comes to the Masters of the Universe stuff, I really like the colors. They, they're just fairly vibrant and pop right out at you.
Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. All right, well, thanks for making it through the video there. Uh, the a toy show turned out to be a pretty good success. Let's take a quick look and see what I got. We picked up a couple of Atari 2600 games. Uh, you know, they're still out there. You see them every now and then for some decent prices. So we grabbed Missile Command and Defender. Yeah, the labels on those are great. Um, even here, looks good. Yeah, I can't wait to pick up another 2600 so we can continue on with a great old Atari fun. Then I was able to find a couple of NES games. Um, there were there were quite a few. I just grabbed two. Uh, pretty good selection out there that I saw. We've got finally got Asmax. Got it with the instruction manual which is great, uh, it's in really good condition. Uh, and it came with like the old style rental case. So that's fine, it's good. Um, that's a fun game. I do remember renting that one a few times. Really fun little side scroller, do check it out. And then we were able to pick up Breakthrough. Yeah, this guy, uh, as you can see, is a little dirty. I'll have to work a little bit to clean this up. You know, it works really good. I was just playing a little while ago. Oh, yeah. But with the game, we're also able to pick up the box. Look at that. It's in uh, decent shape. Not the greatest. A little wear and tear on the top. Uh, but the back is all good. Uh, the colors are all there. Uh, I mean, just look at the artwork there on Breakthrough. That is great artwork up there. Definitely... Definitely captured my imagination uh, back in the day and totally rented this one plenty of times. Breakthrough was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, look at that. Good stuff. There we go. That was a great find. Now I just need to pick up the uh, instructions and we'll have a complete set. And then to add more to my James Bond collection, we've got 007 Nightfire. Now, I did have this at one point for the GameCube. Uh, but I don't know what happened to it. Um, I must have uh, traded it or let somebody borrow it. Uh, I don't know. Can't find it. But here we go. Great full meal deal in here. Everything is beautiful. Looks great. Um, perfect. Perfect ad. We quickly roll up to the PS3 and this was at such a price, such a low price that I just had to snag it. I know I have it digitally, but now... We've got it physically, and that is Star Wars Force Unleashed 2. Um, yeah, great. I mean, that was, a, that was a great find. And it's we've got everything. We're all complete, so we are good. Uh, very, very happy to add this. Uh, it's always fun when you can find a game you have digitally for really cheap on the physical side. So this is cool. Next up is something that when I saw it, I immediately grabbed it and went right to go ahead and buy it because it looks so neat and was so cool. And that is a four set of Christmas ornaments that are controllers. Now you will see that the Atari controller is busted. Now I've got that piece right here. And that's all right, we'll be able to, um, we'll do a little bit of surgery, glue it back together here. Now, I did get this for a great price because when I took it up to the vendor, I didn't notice that the joystick was broken. Uh, he mentioned that, and then he uh, gave it to me for half price, the whole thing. So I still went ahead and snagged it because look at those controllers. That Genesis controller is awesome. The Nintendo controller is great. PlayStation controller is fun. And the Atari one will look really good once I fix it up. All right, for now this one, you did see it in the video before when I saw it as well. And right after I got done filming that, I went ahead and offered them a price. We did a little bit of negotiation. I was able to grab this. I've cleaned the box up since then so we can actually see in it a bit more. And that is Vincent Valentine from Final Fantasy VII. That is probably hard to see still. Uh, the box the box is beat up but you know what it still has a little bit of charm to it has a little bit of character um ah yeah he looks great nothing wrong with him at all all the parts and pieces are there it's 
It almost needs to come out of the box and be on display. It almost does. Now for our last one, you saw it in there and I'm sure you saw the price. When I saw the price and I saw what it was, I just, I had to get it. It was the first purchase of the day and good thing I grabbed it when I did because you know it was gonna be gone within 10 or 15 minutes. But that was the collector's edition for Mafia 3. Yeah, this guy is nice and large. And at only 25 bucks, only 25 bucks, had to have it. It's got two vinyl records in it. It's got the art books, some dog tags, drink coasters, because you know, why, why not throw all that stuff in there? Um, the DLC, uh, I'm sure that's all expired, but whatever. Uh, it just still sealed up and nice. Mm, I, it's gonna, gonna be fun to pop open. There we go. I mean, the big question is, is it a good game? I mean, I don't know. If you played any of it, I mean, in the comments below. But uh, like I said, when I originally picked up Mafia 3 a month or two ago, I haven't played any of the w Mafia 1 or 2, so this will all be new when I get into it. All right, I want to thank you for watching. That wraps up the Washington State Toy Show. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, good thing it was only one day because, boy, there was so much there. It's so much to... As you saw, plenty of places to lose your money. Uh, but it was a great time. All right, we'll catch you in the next video. And as always, game on.